It's Friday and the end of our golfing week, but we've had a brilliant week. You've learnt so much and you've practiced so hard. So today we're going to put all your skills together. You've practiced putting and you've practiced um, pitching. And with both of those, you've practiced precision. Precision in direction, precision in height, precision in distance. So we're now ready to use all those skills. And I've got two things for you to do today. One is a warm up and the other one is an activity to finish off the week with a bang. But before we do those, you just need to understand something that I haven't quite explained yet. So here we go. On a golf course, you've got lots of these. Do you remember? That's right. Fairways where the grass is shorter. OK, so you've got lots of fairways and you'd walk around the corner and there'd be another fairway. And then at the end of that one, you'd walk around another sort of a corner and there'd be another fairway and they're all linked together. OK, and with a fairway, they expect you to start here at the tee and obviously end here at the hole. But they have worked out how many shots or strokes it would take a professional player to get from the tee to getting the ball down in the hole. And they've worked it all out. So they might say for this hole, it's quite straightforward. They might say, okay, we're going to tee off, boink, we're gonna land here. We're then going to do a pitch to land here. So that's two strokes, two hits, two strokes. And then we're going to do one putt, ball goes in, that's three strokes all together. One, two, oops, sorry, one, two, onto the green and a putt three strokes and it's in and this would be called a three par or a par three hole you might go around the corner and find something ooh, like that much more complicated and again they will have worked out the owners of the course will have worked out how hard it is and a professional golfer how many shots or strokes they would need to get the ball in the hole one two avoiding the water three onto the green Put four into the hole. So this would be a par four. And there are some courses where you can get holes that are par fives and sixes because they're so long and so complicated. So now you know what par is, we're going to have a warm up activity with our own holes. OK, so here we go. Now, this one, you can actually get the ball inside. OK. But the other ones, oops, the other ones, you just have to hit them, OK, because I didn't have enough of these ones. All right. So this one, I'm going to call this one a par, well, tell you what, take that one away. It's a par three. If I put that one back, it would be a par four. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and see how many strokes it will take us to do this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole. It should just be four strokes. One stroke, two strokes, three strokes, four strokes. But watch, this is the start line. Have you noticed the holes get further and further and further away from the start line? So every hole you do is harder. OK, so I'll just demonstrate. Just move them in so you can see them. Yeah, that's it. So you need your ball, balls, your golf balls. Here we go. So you start off with the first one. I'll get that stick out of the way, but imagine you've got the line. OK, you get yourself set up. Look along the ground. Look back to the ball. Oh! one so i'm on par okay i'm on par meaning one for one okay next one looking along the ground remember golf you've got time to look it's about being precise oh i missed it so that's two shots two shots okay oh dear oh three shots oh my goodness Get those balls back again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. If I got my feet right, yeah, let's do a practice. Three shots. Phew, just hit it. So that's four shots. Oh dear, I'm not on par. 
four shots. Oh, five shots. Doing a bit better. Let's see about this last one. This one's a very long hole. Okay, very long hole. Five shots. Oh, just missed it. Six shots. Oh dear. T T T T T. Six shots. Oh, just. <laughs> so my par four. OK, actually took me six shots. Oh, dear me. Right. Not good. OK, I can keep practicing. I can add more holes if I want to. OK, it's a good practice for your putting skills. So go away, get yourself some containers. You don't have to put flags on them if you don't want to. It just made it easy for you to see and it'll help for the next activity. But get your containers, find a line, Move each container a bit further away and see whether you can do a par two in two. Can you do a par three in three? Can you do par four in four? If you can't, then maybe go back and practice again. I want to practice that one again because, gee, that was rubbish. OK, so pause, go away and have a go at this game and this warm up and then come back for the main event. See you soon. So here we are at the finale of our golfing week and the finale of our golfing week is that I'm asking you to make your own crazy golf course. That's right. You've got all the skills. You can putt and you can pitch and you know about distance and length. So let's put it together and have fun with a crazy golf course. OK, so you're going to be making your own fairways. That's why I've got my thinking cap on, because I've actually borrowed a lot of things and I've improvised with things from around the house. Let me show you what I've done as an example. OK, over here, I've got my doormat, which I'm using as my tee. So I'm going to tee up here now because we're not outside on a golf course where we've got lots of the very long grass and then we've got the beautifully cut fairway because we don't know the difference. I'm using towels and then some rope and oh, I've got a little table on its side and then the rope goes round and then I've got my stick back here. I'm using those things to show where my fairway is. OK, and I'm using those things so that I know if the ball has gone off the fairway or not. So I have to be a bit more controlled. OK, and then I've got obstacles. So on a real fairway, we'd have things like bunkers, wouldn't we? Or water, like lakes or ponds or trees. Well, I don't have those, but I'm going to say that my ball has to go up and over the top. Then that's par, right? That's one stroke. Then it's going to come down. That's two strokes. Then it's got to go through the tunnel. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure how many strokes. I'm going to say it's going to be one to get there. So that's three strokes and then one to go through. That's four strokes. It's got to hit the board. And then I've got to hit the. Well, hit the hole, hit the target. If it was a hole, it has to go down the hole. I think this is about par five. OK, I think it's about par five. So let's see how I get on. So I've given it par five and just do that like that. Here we go. Set myself up. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to go out of the course. OK, I need to stay on the fairway. So here we go. Oh, only just kept in the fairway. That's one. Right, I need to go there. Two. Oh, I've set myself up. Oh, oh no. Got no chance. I'm going to have to sort of scoop it out. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, three. I've gone past the tunnel, so I've got to come back. Nightmare. Four. That's better. Through the tunnel. Five. Oh, I've gone off the fairway. It means I have to start again. Let's pretend I didn't go off the fairway. Let's do that one again. Here we go. Oh, there we go. And I'm ready to putt for the flag. 
yes. <laughs> well, I'm going yes, but in actual, that was a bit cheaty. That really wasn't proper, was it? Because I went off the fairway and I should come back to the start. In actual fact, if it was a proper game and you go off the fairway, they let you sometimes do a drop if your ball is out of play. And what you do is you stand there and you go drop, just about with your eyes closed, but it means that you have extra strokes added to your score. So you can make up your own rule. You might have the rule you have to go back to the start and start again. But I want you to make your own crazy golf, okay? You can have tunnels, you can have things that the ball has to ping off. And if you set it up right, you can make it so that if the angles are perfect, the same on both sides, the ball can ping in, hit the table or the hard surface, and then it will go out at the same angle. And if you've got it set up, it will hit your target or your hole. OK, you might have your crazy golf going around a corner. You might have your crazy golf going Maybe you've got to go underneath the chair or the stool. Maybe you've got to go around something. It can be as crazy and fantastical as you like. And if you go into your hallway, maybe your crazy golf needs you to pitch up the stairs and hit a target. Who knows? It's up to you. I want a crazy golf experience and just like on a proper golf course you can have one hole and then when you finish one hole you might walk a couple of paces and then start another hole or it might be that you then after you've practiced on this and you've really enjoyed it you reset it in a different way mine is in a sort of an s shape Right, so it comes up and then it goes back and then it comes back out. You might have one that goes in a circle or one that goes in a square. You might have all sorts of wonderful shapes. I hope you have a great time with that. It should be really good fun. If you were outside, you could actually, and you've got a big space, you could actually set it up so you had to do a pitch to start. And that would be then like very much like pitch and putt crazy golf. So the sky is the limit. I would love you to take some photographs, maybe even take a bit of film of you playing your crazy golf. I would love it if you then drew a picture from above, a plan picture of what it would look like if you were looking down on it and you could label it all up so I can see what you were doing on your crazy golf. I hope you really enjoyed having fun with golf this week. Next week, it's a different game totally. So next week on Monday, join me again and we'll be starting a new adventure with Miss Ray. Have fun this weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Happy golfing. A really quick PS. Remember, I talked about going up the stairs with your pitch. Remember, you don't actually play on the stairs. You stay on the flat at the bottom. The ball can go up and the ball can come down, but I don't want you actually playing with the ball standing on the stairs, okay? So that's just a safety thing. So make sure you're always safe. Also, please check, check, check with your grown ups, especially when you're using things like towels and you're finding bits of card, just check that it's okay. And of course, the most important thing of all is at the end, oh yes, tidy it away. I realised when I looked at that video that I didn't show you what the tunnel looked like. The tunnel was just two pieces of card leaning on each other like that and the ball had to go through the middle. Have fun, enjoy it and I'll see you back on Monday. Bye!